Hi guys, Max Perez from Digital Octopus and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the new digital clusters from Digital Octopus Radio. It is the ZM1086, so let's get started. We're going to put this right in here. We're going to upgrade this thing. Come on, let's do this. Alright guys, so we are in the car right now and as you can see, this is my old uh, speedometer here and it's already failing all these crystals are dying out which is a perfect time to change this up the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this handle down it's right under the steering wheel we're going to pull that down just so we could push down the steering wheel right so we can put it down here and we have some space to work and we're going to go from this to this we're going to put our vessel this is so i'm going to put it side by side right here just so you can see the difference in color which is uh, a set match as the factory looks right here looks really nice looks really clean there you go so i'm gonna pull this out i'm gonna set this aside real quick and we're gonna continue with uh, disassembling these parts here next part what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this apart from the this plastic piece here you could put your finger through there or get a panel removal tool so I'm just gonna push down on this same here on the sides and here and you're gonna be left with this part sticking to it right here this uh, plastic part to this part here so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna show you how to do that in just one second all right to get rid of this part here to release it from the plastic piece on the bottom uh, there's two clips one over here and one over here we're gonna push those in and we're gonna uh, try to plot pry it a little bit just through here use your panel removal tool so it'll make it easier for you okay all right so i went ahead and used my panel removal tool if you have a plastic one it's better this way you don't scratch up uh, this part here so i'm gonna just pull this out and i'm doing this with one hand all right, so that should do it. I'm gonna pull this off. So that should come off right there. So now we have our old vessel. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna put that aside. And now it's time to take this part down. We're gonna remove the two screws on the top part, which are these two up here. And this is a T10 um, a screwdriver here. It looks just like this. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, loosen these guys up and there's another two screws right here so it's a total of four so two on the top uh, which we already removed two there and two on the bottom here i'm gonna turn on the light so you can see it there it is so you have one here another one on this side and one up here and then the other one up here we, which i already took out all right, so we're gonna go ahead and just remove the two bottom screws down there. Again, do not lose these screws because you will need them for the new part. And there we go. I've never taken this off, so it's a little harder than usual. Just imagine being there for. 10 years, 11 years now. All right. All right, so these are my screws. I'm gonna put them on the side. And now, time to play with this guy. We're gonna tilt it down, push up right up here. This way we get it out of the way. Steering wheel is on the way a little bit. Let's see if we could do it right over here. All right, so this is basically it. There's only one harness for this whole thing to work. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug it from here. We're gonna put that aside. So now we can pull this piece out. There we go. So this is my old cluster here and so now we're gonna put in the new one and again it's only one plug that you need to do nothing else okay so this is that one wire we're gonna run it this is for your usb and this is just in case we need to uh upgrade our system or put anything uh, via usb we'll do it right through here 
and you can do it where it stays right where the steering wheel column is so you could just drop it down right through there this way you have easier access later and then this way you could just reach uh, around down here this area and you should be able to find it or through the steering wheel column all right so now that we have the speedometer in position we're going to go ahead and connect that one wire and that's right over here we're going to plug that right in there and you should hear it click just like that and then we have our usb this one we don't use i'm just trying to get this wire i just where i could find it later this usb wire i'm just trying to pull it out with my hand and i got it right down here so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it right here in precision this case just in case I need it in the future, I always have it right here. So I'm just gonna tuck it right in there for now until I find a good place for it. All right, so to get this in, the easiest way to do it is we're gonna slide it to the left, stick it in on the right-hand side, and then stick the unit in. If you try to stick it in the other way, it will not work. So uh, just, we're gonna slide it to the left. We're gonna stick in the right part first, and then the left, and it, it should go right in just like that. See how easy that was? So now we're gonna be putting our screws back on. Be very careful with the screen and the screwdriver. You don't wanna scratch it. All right, so next we're gonna take off these clips and we're gonna transfer them to the new, to the new vessel, which is right here. So it's gonna, they're gonna fall right into this position right there. All right, just gonna click this one in here and the second one. So now we are ready to put this guy in. We wanna do is we're gonna get this plastic back into these three places here. This so it look nice. We could do that for last actually. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this guy in. And it should click right in, just like the factory. And here's what the final product looks like. Look how beautiful this looks. So we're gonna go ahead and power the car on for the first time. So this uh, part that I highlighted here, uh, this piece of plastic, that's not gonna be in the system when it comes in. This is just because it was one of the first plastics that they sent me. And uh, that's gonna be cut in the production. Uh, so it'll be nice and flush and you will not see that little stick there. There's three of them, two on the bottom, one on top, and all three of them are gonna be removed. Finally, our digital gauge and it looks beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, check some things around. I'm gonna turn it on. Hey, so we have a check engine. This is a problem that my car is experiencing. So that's perfect because it's reading it. Uh, we have the traction control is off that's because this is all off right here uh, cruise control let's click on that so we can turn it off there it is uh, to control the menu up here we're gonna use the arrows right on okay guys this is it for this video this is an install video um, i'm gonna do a separate video going through every menu on this uh gadget so this way you can see exactly how it works as you can see on the screen they're still displaying kilometers per hour etc uh, we're gonna change that to miles per hour this is on the settings i'll show you guys how to do that in another video but in the meanwhile i hope you guys like this vid video uh share comment if you guys have any questions just write it in the comment section i'll be glad to answer them uh so that's it so i'll see you guys in the next video and you guys have a great one